If you're seeing an error code like this, this means your hardware ID banned. But don't worry, I have a software that's only $5, which will get you unbanned in just one click. If you're unsure of what a hardware ID ban is, let me go ahead and tell you. A hardware ID ban is when a game's anti-teeth detects that you're doing something wrong and then blacklists your serials from accessing the game servers. Now there are two ways to actually bypass this ban. One will be just buying a new PC, which will cost you up to $500 to even $1,000 in some cases. Or just use a spoofer, which is only $5 and will change all of your hardware ID serials to bypass the anti-cheat and get you back into the game servers. Now in this video, we're gonna be using Aqua's temp spoofer and let me go ahead and show you why. Now Aqua has a ton of vouchers in this trusted community from people who have actually purchased this product and gotten abandoned with it. So we're gonna be using it in this video. Let's go ahead and get into the steps. So to get your own Aqua key, you can head over to aquacheats.cc and click on catalog. And then scroll down to see the hard ready spoofer, which will be right here. And now you can see there are two different products in here, the permanent and the temp. There is a clear difference between the two since the temp spoofer is actually great for people to continue cheating and have the ability to change their serials whenever they want with that one click one spoof ability that it comes with. But when you restart your PC, it will revert back to the old banned ones. But the permanent spoofer will actually allow people to just spoof one time and keep the permanently clean serials so that it's great for people to stop cheating and just go back to playing legit. So let's go ahead and get an app purchase. You click on buy now under the temp spoofer. It'll bring you to this page right here. We can see all of the prices, the keys, and how to, the menus and features. So if you scroll down, you can see what this actually has. So you can click on compatibility, safety, anti-cheats. You can know exactly what it works on and what it comes with. But since we're just gonna be using a day key in this video, I'm gonna click on it and then click on buy now. And it will bring me to this page. And here you can go ahead and enter in your email address so they can actually send you the information. If you send in some, something wrong, then they won't be able to send it to you. Now here you can go ahead and enter in your information and app purchase. But if you do want more payment options like crypto, PayPal, Cash App, you can head over to their Discord and then create a purchase ticket and someone will help you there. But for now, I'm gonna enter my information. I'll see you guys when I get my key. After you purchase, you will get the key and a download link sent to your email. But I've already got my download link, so we can go ahead and just open the spoofer by clicking on show more options. Button this load and then run as administrator. We just wait for this to load up. Once it loads, it will bring you to a screen that looks like this. Now, if this is your first time purchasing, you can go ahead and click on register now and then make a username and password and then enter in the license key that you got in your email. Since I already have an account, I'm just gonna click on login now and then just sign in with my username and password. So give me one second to do that. After logging in, you will be redirected to a page that looks like this. Now we can go ahead and click on games and then click the left arrow a few times until we see easy anti-cheat since we are trying to get unbanned from Fortnite. And then we can go ahead and click on spoof. And as you can see, we're gonna keep all of this checked and just click on the shuffle button right here. Just press okay. And I'm gonna click on custom CPU build since I have that. And if you have that, you should click on that too. But now go ahead and click on continue and the spoofing process will start. So I'm gonna speed this process up so you guys don't have to wait as long as I do. All right, as you can see, my serials have completely spoofed by looking at the highlighted version that shows that it has properly changed and that's will automatically close. I'm just gonna wait for that. Now that our serials have properly changed, we are free to go back into the games and play. Now, if you do wanna change your serials back, you can go ahead and just restart your PC. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.